The construction of the Bakshaba Dam Tunnel in Farah Province is 48% complete. The project, which is part of Afghanistan's infrastructure development efforts, aims to provide a storage capacity of 1, 360 million cubic meters of water and generate 27 megawatts of electricity. The dam is also expected to irrigate more than 100,000 hectares of agricultural land. The Bakshabad Dam project is being implemented in several phases and is being carried out by domestic companies in collaboration with German and Turkish companies. The dam will be built on the Farah Rood River in Balabuluk district, and its implementation will significantly contribute to improving irrigation and energy production in the region. Construction work is progressing in three main sections, including tunnels, diversion channels, and the water storage section. In recent days, special emphasis has been placed on accelerating the completion of the project so that it can be put into operation as soon as possible and help meet the needs of the region. Bakshabad Dam is located in Farah Province, located in western Afghanistan. This area is considered an ideal location for the construction of a large hydroelectric dam due to its fertile lands and high demand for water. With the completion of this dam, a huge capacity will be created for irrigation of agricultural lands and electricity generation. The dam is designed to provide water to more than 68,000 hectares of agricultural land. Also, the production of 27 megawatts of electricity is another main goal of this project, which will help provide sustainable and cheap energy to the local people. The diversion tunnels are one of the most important parts of this project. These tunnels are built to direct water and control the flow of rivers to prevent floods and possible destruction. The excavation work of one of the main tunnels was completed in 2023, and the other tunnel will be completed soon. The Bakshabad Dam tunnels, with a length of 530 meters and a width of 9 meters, are among the largest diversion tunnels in Afghanistan. These tunnels play a key role in directing water flow and controlling floods, and help increase agricultural productivity. After the completion of the excavation, the concreting process of the tunnel has begun. This phase is essential to strengthen the tunnel structure and prevent water infiltration. The concreting work in both tunnels will be completed soon. With the completion of the Bakshabad Dam, the local economy will be greatly affected. By providing water and electricity, the dam will create new opportunities for local farmers and artisans and help improve the living standards of the people. One of the main challenges in implementing this project is the security situation and lack of budget. However, the government and the Ministry of Energy and Water have made great efforts to complete the project on time and with quality. Electricity generation from the Bakshabad Dam is one of the key points of this project. By producing 27 megawatts of electricity, not only the local areas, but also the surrounding provinces will benefit from this energy. Construction of the Bakshabad Dam began decades ago, but was delayed due to security and economic problems. In recent years, with relative stability returning to the region, work on the project has resumed. Bakshabad Dam not only has a positive impact on the local economy, but is also environmentally beneficial. The dam helps control floods and preserve the region's water resources. One of the most important benefits of the Bakshabad Dam is the provision of water to local farmers. Agricultural lands in Farah and surrounding areas are heavily dependent on the dam to increase crop production. With the implementation of the project, hundreds of local people have been employed in various stages of construction of the dam and its tunnels. The project is one of the largest job opportunities in the region and has a direct impact on reducing unemployment. The Afghan government, specifically the Ministry of Energy and Water, has provided the necessary funds and equipment to complete the project. The ministry plays an important supervisory and implementation role in advancing the project. One of the main concerns for completing this project was securing sufficient funding. However, with the efforts of the government and international cooperation, the necessary funding has been provided to complete the project. The Bakshabad Dam is one of several infrastructure projects currently underway in Farah. These projects will contribute to the economic and social development of the province and will transform Farah into an agricultural and energy hub. 
the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan has made great efforts in recent months to complete infrastructure projects, including the Bakshabad Dam. These projects are being implemented with the aim of improving the living conditions of the people and increasing economic productivity. One of the long-term goals of the Bakshabad Dam is to export electricity to neighboring countries. By producing sufficient energy, Afghanistan can become one of the major electricity exporters in the region. Increasing agricultural productivity in Farah province will be one of the most important results of this project. With sufficient water supply, local farmers will be able to grow more crops and increase their income. Along with the government, private companies are also playing a role in the implementation of the Bakshabad Dam project. These partnerships will help accelerate the project's implementation process and improve its quality. Given recent developments, the future of the Bakshabad Dam looks bright. This project is one of the keys to Afghanistan's economic development and its effects will be clearly seen in the coming years. As you are aware, this dam is being built in Farah province. Farah province is located in southwestern Afghanistan and geographically borders Iran. The province is famous for its vast agricultural lands and the Farah River, which originates from the mountains of the province. Farah is one of the oldest provinces in Afghanistan and has its own rich history and culture. Farah province is best known for its agriculture, and a variety of agricultural products such as wheat, barley, and grapes are produced in this region. One of the most important products of this province is saffron, the high quality of which is known not only in Afghanistan, but also internationally. The people of Farah are hardworking and hospitable, and agriculture is one of their main occupations. Historically, Farah is of great importance. In this province, there are traces of ancient castles and old cities that reflect the antiquity of this region. Farah Castle is one of the most important historical attractions in the province that attracts many visitors. The castle is located in the center of Farah city and has interesting stories from the past of the region. On the other hand, Farah's climate is hot and dry. In the summer, the temperature rises very high and people turn to the cooler hours of the day for daily activities. However, the summer nights in Farah are very pleasant, and you can enjoy the outdoors under the starry sky. Winters in Farah are also relatively mild, with rain and sometimes snow. Thank you for watching.